working on our head here. We have it all detailed out now. We have everything painted, the teeth, the lips, the brows, uh, indents for some frowns and age spots on it. So we got this all done. So what we want to do now is we're going to work on getting our eyes mounted. We also have our hands are done here. So those are ready to go. We have our mouth is all painted and ready to go. So we want to work on these eyes. So the first thing you want to do before you get your uh, plaster mixed up, you want to check your eyes to make sure that they fit okay. Because after all that painting, you might have a little paint up build in there or a lump in there. So you want to check, make sure this isn't, uh, it's, it's still seating where you want it to sit. Uh, then I'll take a damp cloth and kind of wipe the inside of the, the eye sockets out and make sure I don't have any dust in there which I've already checked this and they're fine. So we're going to put the eyes in here and get them where we want them to be. And what you do is you just take this head and hold it above your head and then you can center those eyes and check uh, where they're at. You want to make sure you get them centered so they're not crooked. And then after we put this plaster in here, you're going to have to recheck those because a lot of times a plaster will cause it to move some. So you can adjust it while that plaster is still wet. Once it sets up, you can't adjust it anymore. We're going to use plaster of Paris here. Uh, these eyes will be uh, fixed. They won't move. I'm using about uh, three to four tablespoons of plaster for this. So we'll just... Uh, Add water to it, just a little bit at a time, till you get the consistency that you want. You want it to be a little more runnier than peanut butter, smooth peanut butter, not chunky. So just, if you end up putting too much water in, just add a little more plaster. But you want to make sure you mix up enough to do it all, so you don't have to have to hurry and mix up a little bit more. Makes it's better to have a little too much and not enough. So we're going to get this stirred up. And like I say, if it's too runny, just add a little bit more plaster and just keep going back and forth till you get the consistency that you, that you want. Uh, I did ventriloquism for over 40 years and none of my figures I worked with six to eight different figures at, at different times, and none of my figures had moving eyes. Uh, the trick to that is what you want to do is you want to always keep the head moving. It's like when you're talking, don't let his head stay stationary. You know, he like he's listening to you, you need to turn his head a little bit this way or that way. It doesn't have to be a lot, just a little subtle movement to it. Just like a, a real person would be if you're talking to a real person. So I find that worked out good. Okay, we got a nice consistency to this because you want it to go all the way around that eye. Uh, these eyes are acrylic. They're one inch. So we got this mixed up. And if it's too running, you don't want to add more. Just let it set for a minute or so because it will harden up. And this only takes about uh, between one and two hours. I'd give it a couple hours to set up, and then I can go on with my next step. So we got that all ready. So we're going to pour this in. Make sure you get that eye socket that you put in there all covered up. Because you can make adjustments before this sets up. But once it sets up, then you're done making adjustments. If the eye ends up being crooked on you, then what you'll have to do is just uh, chip it out and start it and do it over again. Which is, it's not that hard to do if you have to redo it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to tap the head so we get that plaster to go all the way around that eye. This helps get rid of any little air pockets or air bubbles you might have in there. So this helps. 
And if a little bit seeps out, that's not a problem. After it dries, you just take a little tool. Uh, you can use a small screwdriver or a little carving tool and just chip it out along the eye where you need to. I've got a couple i got to do that, so we'll show that later. And the eyes did move. They almost always move when you pour that in there. At least one of them does. So we just keep tapping it. I want to make sure we get a good seed on it so when it hardens up, it's going to be good and where we want it. So now what we'll do is we'll just set this aside, let it dry, and then we'll be able to come back with the next step. Thanks for watching.